What's going on guys? We are in the boat, hanging out. Got some stuff in, put some stuff together, fished yesterday, knocking out reels, waiting for more stuff to come tomorrow for a couple tattoo SVs for some guys. Uh, I'm knocking those out. But just did a Facebook uh, contest for the Bassmaster Classic. Pick your best what the highest weight for the three days without going over had like two or three hundred entries thought i was good to go it was like 65 something 6505 i think it was for three days thought i had one person picked they were great she picked it 64 50 something Messenger said, hey, you want a free tattoo us fee of your choice? Cool. Posted the winner on the my Facebook page. Everyone's like, oh, congratulations, congratulations. And all of a sudden, I get a message from a guy that posted, hey, mine was closer. What? So I go back, look at all the posts. Well, his post was hidden thanks to Facebook. Because he edited his post six days prior when I, I first announced the uh, contest. And he picked a higher number. So he was 64.73. So he was the technical winner of the contest. So instead of giving away one reel, I gave away two reels. So, two reels. We're going to the winners. Cool. Facebook hit it. I didn't even see it until he posted on his post. It popped up. It's not really a big deal. Um, it just kind of, it kind of sucks when you like let someone know they won. They're all excited. And then something happens like that. Um, it's very rare. That's why I don't do contests like this very often. Um, so instead of just saying, hey, you know, I apologize, but this guy was closer um, I went back in and looked at the edit post, and he was within the rules, so I just said, screw it. You'll get a reel, and he'll get a reel, so those are going out. Um, it is what it is. Uh, you know, hey, they'll be happy. They get some kick-ass freaking brand new Tatula SV 7 to 1 and 8 to 1 gear ratios. So it just kind of, you know, eh, it sucks, but it is what it is. Next thing up, you might have seen it, Instagram, Facebook, Omega, coming out with a Ned Rig. This is the new Slayer Ned Rig head. This is the prototype head. Um, uh, we went out, I took the owner Brad out yesterday and we went out fishing yesterday. And we caught about 20, 25 fish on the Ned Rigs. I threw, this is the... Uh, Biospawn Exo Stick. I just kind of chopped it down a little bit. But I threw this. Um, he threw some other baits. We threw like Z-Man TRDs and all that kind of stuff. But this is the bait I used. I stuck it on this, you know, in the morning. And I used the same bait all day. Probably had, I would say, maybe a dozen fish on it. Um, this is the quarter ounce. It's kind of hard to see. You can kind of see the eyes here. This is the head. It's got a flat bottom on it. It's a football style head. Um, it's got a screw lock. This one has a screw lock on it with a Gamagatsu hook. It is super stout. Um, the nice thing is it is a heavier gauge hook and it's also super sharp. Um, we're also probably gonna come out with soon after these get released next week, um, the pin lock, the typical, you know, Every other Ned Rig has the uh, the straight pin where you just shove the, the bait down. Um, just for Z-Man style, Aztec plastics, um, the screw locks really just don't work really well. It's just really hard to put on. So they're probably going to do two side, two different uh, styles. And this is the quarter ounce. They got eight ounce as well. They're probably going to expand the lineup, you know, go to a three quarter or three eighths or whatever. Um... Uh, you know, it's fishing. The guys want to use like 30 different sizes in their Ned Rigs. So, but this is the one I was throwing. This is the quarter ounce. I'm throwing it on the DX701C Finesse with 
the Dial Elphis Airstream uh, Custom four pound Missouri hybrids, more like seven pound. But people freak out when I say I'm throwing four pound line. Uh, awesome line, used it for a decade or more. It's a great finesse line, strong as hell. Uh, but this is the new Omega Custom Tackle Slayer Ned Head. Should be out, I think, next Tuesday, Wednesday. Pre-orders are going on now. Um, we talked to the uh, manufacturer yesterday when we were on the water because we wanted to make slight little changes. Um, but these should be good to go. Mini little Ned rigs ready to roll, finally. Um, other than that, smash that thumbs up, guys. I don't know who's pulling up to our house. Huh. Anyway. Uh, also, check out my Instagram, at TH Customs. We are getting to like 9,000. I'm hoping to hit 10,000 uh, followers by the end of the year. That would be great. Just because I do a lot of cool photo posts and all that kind of stuff there. Um, other than that, we should hopefully have these next week. And then you can buy. And they're going to have them in three packs, weedless, with the weed guard and without the weed guard, uh, eighth and quarter right now, and then I think they're going to do bulk as well, pricing, I don't know yet, um, so keep an eye out for that, but we will talk to you guys later, smash that thumbs up guys, and hopefully we're going fishing on Friday, it's supposed to rain like two inches, today, tomorrow, so Friday's supposed to be okay, maybe a little windy, but... It's that time of year. Caught some fish yesterday. So smash that thumbs up, guys. We'll talk to you guys later. Have a good one.